Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to a Punched Out Thursday to Die For, where we'll all be using our punches and or our dies to create our layout. And it is also May I Scrap Lift You. So today I'm scrapping Colleen Cornett. Now, Colleen does not have any YouTube videos for her scrapbooking layouts yet, but she does have an Instagram and she is very active on it. So this is the layout I chose to scrap today. I am going to have it kind of opposite because the paper I'm going to use has some design already on it that I plan on using in my scrap lift. And since Colleen used a baby's photo in hers, well she used two, I'm using one of my granddaughter Reagan. I thought I was going to use those sequins, but I'm not. I'm going to use that largest stitched frame die there. And I already have it behind the photo. And then I took practically all of my doily dies. And there's more that you can't see that's kind of slid down. Because these are not the best magnets. But the dies are great. I am going to use that Echo Park one also. And it's layered. And it's kind of hard to tell from the picture, but it is. And Colleen gave me this collection here. Well, it's kind of like two collections together. One is, it's by... Lemon something. It's a Polish company. And beautiful, beautiful baby papers in there. And I picked this one here to have as my base. And it has a little bassinet down in the left-hand corner. That's the cluster I'm going to have there. Where she has it up there at the top right. Mine is going to, like everything's flipped. Um, I first thought about doing pinwheels underneath my photo. And then I thought, I've done that quite a few times before with uh, scrap lifts and um, sketches. So I thought I'd use doily since I knew I had several. I seem to use the same ones over and over again. So I am going to use a big variety today. And I tried to pick different sizes and I tried to pick them where I could layer them. So the smaller ones have foam tape under them and the photo does too but it's got thicker foam tape and I'm only going to end up pulling one strip in the middle off I'm leaving the release paper on the other pieces so I can slide the doilies in a little bit better I wanted the height for the photo so it wouldn't you know have the middle all raised up and the sides kind of mashed down so it does have foam tape on the sides but it will have the release papers, paper still on there. Some of these doilies have stitching on them. That's what made me think of doing the frame with the stitching. And to make it match, you know, just a little bit more. And some of the doilies are more intricate than others. But they are all cut out really well. And I'm trying to lay, well, I... Don't know if I succeeded a whole lot at it, but I tried to lay the smaller intricate ones on top of the more plain ones. But I ended up with more pieces than I thought, except when I got them all down. And then I had to go ahead and cut one more. And I'll only be gone a second because the magic of video editing. You won't hardly even notice I'm gone. I only had a tiny bit of green I took it off the cover sheet so the green is the smaller pieces and because the cover sheet is printed on the back of these so you can use that but I use the photos of the papers you know that that one you know that's on the front but it is paper so it looks pretty good on here I uh, like I said I didn't take all the release paper off the pictures and see how well it slid under there and um, that way I didn't have to well <laughs> I, I had all that tape on there to start with and I thought I'd just put it down on top of the doilies after I adhered them all down but then I got to thinking oh if I didn't get it right I'd have to move it and I'd be tearing the doily so then I thought of just taking part of well one strip of the release paper off and it worked out really well. But while I'm putting all of them down and trying to decide what kind of design I'm going to have with them 
and colors in different places. I want to mention that down there below, you'll find the links to everybody that is doing the Punched Out Thursday today. They'll be using their punches and or dies. I think today I only used dies. I did not use any punches. And uh, yeah, it, punches and or dies. But also, it is the May I Scrap Lift You by... Uh, hosted by uh, Crystal Barrett, who is Pineapple Papers here on YouTube. And she has a master link for all the May I Scrap Lift You because it is a month-long one. And that way, people that's only doing one day a week, or maybe even once for the whole month, will all be there together. But then there's some that are doing it every single day. I forgot to show the die for my title, so I just now showed it. And it's so sweet, and it's Echo Park one. And they have several cursive ones. Um, I think this one's called Olivia, I think. And they all fit together really well. So I went ahead and put them together, and then I inked them with um, Broken China. I thought it went pretty good with the colors in this uh, paper collection. And I'm just going to kind of tuck it on that one doily. I put the two largest doilies on each corner. And that one um, is, it comes where you can either put the doily straight on like a card or something. And just have the cutout part, maybe a see-through kind of sort of thing. Or you could add the other die and cut it out like I did today as a doily. I... I thought I was going to use those one sequence, and I pulled out this other one, which I love, both of them. But neither one was exactly the colors I wanted. This one's a more mellow color. I think it's called Walking on Sunshine. And it's by Cat Scrappiness, and I'm about out of it. But it's pretty old. I probably had it five years or more. But it went a lot better with this collection. And it wasn't quite as bright, and it still sparkles and still looks pretty on the layout but that's it that's my layout and there's my sweet granddaughter reagan when she was tiny i don't seem to have one like that of charlie so charlie must have been awake when i took reagan's photo but uh reagan looks so cute laying there all sound asleep and um there's the so sweet there and the doily that's a two-parter. And then I just put one of the little uh, Echo Park ones in the center. But did you see how well they fit together and so straight? Um, but there's uh, a couple of more of the doilies. And that one there is probably the most intricate and hardest to cut out that look like a star. But if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so very much. But I hope you all have a happy scrappy week. Have fun with the playlist and the links down there below. Bye!